In your Northbox 5X kit, you will find four laser cut panels. You may have the MDF hardboard version or the black acrylic. Both kits are assembled in the same way. You will also get a power supply and a little package full of the electrical components. In order to complete the kit, you're going to need to get a set of 20 by 20 by 1 furnace filters. We recommend the 3M MPR 1900, but any MERV 13 filter should work. You will also need five 120 millimeter computer fans. We have a brand we recommend, but any 12 volt computer fan should work. Finally, you'll need some two inch tape. I recommend a cloth backed tape commonly known as gaffer tape, though common duct tape should work fine as well. Try to avoid paper-based tapes. The first step involves attaching the computer fans to the panels. The panels have push pins that will hold the fans in place using friction. Airflow from the fans should be directed out of the box. On the side of the fan, you should see an arrow. In this particular brand, the fancy label should be on the inside of the unit. Just give them a push one corner at a time, being careful not to damage the fan blades. Try to make sure that the power cables are going towards the center and not towards the sides because they might get pinched by the filters. Now take one of the side panels and gently press it into the friction fit corner. Try not to press it in too hard you may need a little bit of slack in order to get the filters in. Now it's time to put the electrical system in. You may not have exactly the same power cable. There are some variations. First step is to put the strain relief on the power cable. The narrow side should be facing away from the switch. Then just go into the box one connector at a time. Once you get one connector in, you should be able to squeeze the second one just past it. Then that little plastic bit should go in first and then just give it a push and it's just held in with friction. Next, you're gonna attach the hub. You'll see that the connectors have a little ridge there so that you can't put it in wrong. Then I take one of the connectors that's left over and hook it up to the nearest fan. The rest of the fans are going to connect to the hub. Again, just line up the little tabs and you should be okay. Now it's time to test everything to make sure 
that all the fans are running. Just plug the power supply in, connect it to the end of the cable, and the fans will start turning. If they don't, check that the switch is on. Make sure that you're getting flow out from the box. Now we're gonna use this length of elastic cord to create a place to mount all the electrical cabling. Use a mounting hole on one of the fans and then put a double knot onto the end of that elastic cable. Pull the elastic cable through the hole. Then we go to the other side diagonally to one of the other mounting holes. Put it through there, give it a bit of a pull, not too much tension. We don't really need a lot of tension here. It's really just to keep the cabling out of the way from the fans. Another double knot and then trim the excess and make sure the bit left over doesn't end up going into the fan blades. Now we take the cable ties and bundle up the wires onto that elastic cord so that they stay out of the way of the fan blades. Now just trim off the excess. Now we're gonna put the filters in. It's very important to check on the side of the filter what direction the airflow should be. In this device, the airflow has to go inside so that air is getting sucked through the filter before it comes out of the fan. Also make sure that the folds of the filter go up and down vertically. This prevents sagging over time. can be a bit of a tight fit. If you need to stretch the sides a bit, the panels are quite flexible. Now flip it over and continue the same process on the other side. Now it's time to tape the filters to seal things up. There's a layer of tape already applied to the edges of the panels. They're designed to protect the MDF material, which can be pretty fragile and easily damaged by the tape. So make sure when you put the tape on that it's on top of the protective tape and not touching any of the MDF. It's there to make sure that when you change the filter and you pull the old tape off, it doesn't damage the MDF surface, which is a bit fragile. This is not a problem with the acrylic version. I like to do this in one continuous piece all the way around, but it's totally up to you. I found this method gives the cleanest result.
cut a little triangle off of each corner. Then when you fold the tape down, you get a nice, tidy result. Just keep repeating the process corner by corner until you get the whole thing sealed up. Then simply repeat the process on the other side. Now just plug it in and it's ready to go. Thanks for watching.